Is there anything more human than violence? Conflict, battles, wars have raged since the dawn of time. During the Middle Ages in Europe, there was one order who stood above the rest. Arbiters of death, protectors of nobility, the elite of the elite. Here is my quest. Do I have what it takes to join this order? In this video, I will train to join their ranks in a modern sport dedicated to their history. This is my journey to become a medieval knight. But before we go any further, this video is brought to you by the amazing people at Crush Organics. Crush Organics are the world leader at supplying high grade CBD products to keep you calm, focused, relaxed, stress free and recovered and in charge. The amazing expanding range of CBD products that Crush has is absolutely unbelievable. Like I am shocked. Let me just quickly go through some of my favorites. The peppermint day oil, absolutely delicious. The carver infused night oil, the broad spectrum muscle recovery oils, the platinum oils, and the all new maximum impact diamond oil. And as if that wasn't enough, ladies and gentlemen, they have pain creams, they have bath bombs, and my new favorite, the gummies. These CBD gummies, I've been having them every night, and I sleep like a little child. Their products can help with memory, focus, muscle soreness, pain relief, relaxation, and calming the central nervous system to allow you to be a more rounded and relaxed human being. To get a massive 40 5% off, yes, that's right, 45% off. Use the code BOXINGBUTTER, spelt exactly like that, and you will receive this enormous discount. Ladies and gentlemen, this video right here would not be possible without the great people from Crush Organic. So, go and support those who support us, and now, back to the video. G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Butch Barney, how are you doing? Um, I'm about to do probably the dumbest thing in well, my entire existence. I'm gonna get trained in armoured fighting and then fight some big fuckers, all right? That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm here today to do. And I've got uh, my sensei. I guess so, yeah, yeah. Doctor Ray. Big Dr. bad <laughs> Sam here. He is from the Brisbane, I forgot the name. You, Brisbane you Beast. The Brisbane Beast, yeah, the Bri yeah. Brisbane Mad Dogs, <laughs> just beating the shit out of each other with blunt instruments. Now, when I walked in here, I thought it's very exciting to do some laughing. <laughs> oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Connor said laughing is the biggest insult yeah. you can give yeah, that is, to yeah, people yeah. in this Congratulations, sport. yep, that's yep, it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very I did want to piss you off so yeah. I can wield an axe <laughs> we can in my sort face. That out. We can sort that out later. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Tell okay. me, what is the difference between what we're doing here today yep. and when you see people with uh, foam swords fighting in the park? Excellent question, I'm glad you asked. Um, so what we're doing here is a sport. So it's full contact armoured fighting. Um, we're not casting any type of spells or anything like that. It's real fighting, just like MMA, boxing, kickboxing. It's all for points. It's, uh, the more amount of pain you can give someone, uh, you're winning. Armoured fighting is one of the most violent sports in the world. This full combat blood sport combines MMA with sword fighting and a dash of Viking axe swinging. All real weapons just blunted to reduce the chance of death. The sport is known as Boo Hurt and they have competitions all around the world. The fights themselves range from one-on-ones to five versus five team sports to 150 versus 150 nights in mass battles. And to coach me through all of this is Sam Riddle, the Australian middleweight champion who faces his greatest challenge yet, keeping me alive. What the fuck is that? So that's a two-handed axe you got there. Someone your size would definitely want to wheel that and uh, put it in some nasty, tasty places. And especially when they're not looking is what you want to be doing. Look uh, at if that. they're not looking, that's uh, better. So they're real weapons, real armor. Uh, they're just blunt. 
So yeah, no stabbing at all. <laughs> it's all just, it's all just schwacking the swords around. So, so, uh, so you're allowed to do headshots. You can do headshots. Uh, the main rules are is no groin shots, no back of the neck, side of the neck shots, and back of the knee shots. No stabbing, no stabbing at all. So that's a big no-no. Yeah, that's like a massive red card. You'll be out of the tournament. Say that I should be wielding something like that. Yes, just because um, you're height. Okay. Yeah. So this is more of like a one shot. Yep. Then you're done. Yep. Well, hopefully, if, you, if you're strong enough, you should be able to hit someone once and they should be out. Okay, yeah. okay. So you hit someone, you take them to the ground. Yeah, what, what happens if someone's on the ground? Do you, is it like MMA? You're in, you're trying to No, so down. what happens in, in the different categories of this sport? So in the group fights, three points of contact and you're, you're out. So if you can knock them out with your weapon, then that's great. That's the least amount of effort that you can do. But okay. you can trip them over, like wrestle them down to the ground. And once they're three points of contact, so like knee, hand, they're okay. out. And then you move on, and then hopefully your team has got more people standing at the end. So this isn't fencing. It's not nothing no. like that. This no. is full on it is into a, it. It is, a, it is a type of fencing when it gets into the point sparring, because it is the accumulation of points over time, and then you have rounds. But the group fights where it's wrestling and pain. Okay. Much. And they're due... <laughs> what <laughs> the title of my sex tape. What so, type yeah. of people... I, I know earlier you said there, there's females that fight yep, in this. Correct. What type of people come and... Uh, you know, are drawn to this type of sport? So a lot of, uh, a lot of vets, like ex-veterans, uh, due to the high intensity of it all and that teamwork camaraderie. Sure. So like uh, myself, I've served in the military for uh, nine years and we had a lot of vets coming in missing that brotherhood or sisterhood or anything like that in the high intense, you know, yeah. environment. And they can get their pain out and, you know, give them 100% and they don't have to worry about it, you know? Yeah. It clears their head, it's great. I so, often yeah. say this, this is like, People who have never been in a contact sport, like it's a different type of person. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like it's, it's something you learn about, especially as a kid. Yep. You learn about being, having, you know, everything against you, all the odds against you, and yep. fighting your way through it. It's yep. a really important lesson 100%. to learn. And getting knocked down is probably the best part as well. Right? Absolutely, learning yeah. how to get back up. Yep. Take me through the, are these sort of like boxing bags? These are the boxing bags of the sport. So they're called PELs, P E W -L, L, and they're just ties around a stick. So just like a boxer, um, you'll come in and you just practice your combinations. So you're practicing all your skills, and then if you want to do just like sledgehammer, um, work out at the gym, just get your axe out, and you just... And that's what you're trying to do to someone in armor. So if you can hit them once, they're out, that's less energy, you win. So are we going double hand? Or is this One like hand, a, that's a single hand weapon. A that's single it. hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of. And it's more like a slashing environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to absolutely just drill it down through the hip seat, that's it. All right, so wow. Yeah. And then if you had a shield on the other hand, you'd be throwing shield punches in a well. So you okay. come in, boom, boom. Can we learn sort of like Some without, techniques? without like flying steel coming yeah. at my face? We can. We have soft armor over there that we can chuck on. Huh. And I can give you some few pointers and get other people in if you want to, so. Let's do it. Let's do that, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna throw this helmet on. Sweet, check your helmet on. Are you right-handed? I am. Fucking hell. There you go. That should be right, just to let you know how safe these helmets are. It shouldn't hurt you. So, <laughs> they're good, you're in good company. Fucking like and subscribe now. So first thing you do is you're gonna do a one strike. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna hit my head to the side like that. So that's coming here and striking across there. Yeah, go. Sweet, that's your one strike. So then your two strike. Yeah. One, I'm kissing my knuckles, I'm punting above my helmet, and I'm flicking it to the other side. Yeah, 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 so, you're coming in. <laughs> yeah, kiss yeah. your knuckles. Yep. Yeah. Perfect, sweet. So we combat together, so one, two, You'll go. Yeah, and good. Go again. Good. Sorry. Cool. T minus two hours until my first fight. My sword skills, I'll be honest, need some work. I feel like a virgin in the bedroom, just flailing this shit all around in every different direction. But I'll tell you what, I'll make a night yet. You just wait. Nice. We've mastered the basics. <laughs> Jesus. So that's just striking and soft kit. And then you've got to put on steel armor, wrestle over like a whole period of the day. <laughs> Mate, that was, that was tough. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It's hot. Very hot, very hot. It's the same as boxing. Like you just, if you're up against a professional, yeah, you feel it doesn't matter what you do. 100%. You're going to cop something. It's all about energy, preserving your energy. Yeah. But that's all your time, like it's unfair, like I've been doing it for so long, yeah. you know. But yeah, did awesome though, like good movement, good striking, not to get on the nozzle or anything, but... Well, you suck a while. <laughs> the snorkel king is here. <laughs> the snorkel king is here. So this is uh, the list. 
Uh, a few modif modified. There wouldn't be foam on this for the steel fighting tournaments, but steel, sure. just foam for training, so we don't cut themselves. Yep. So this is the essentially the ring for the group fights. This yep. is like the boundaries. Also, it can help you fight. So if I'm fighting a big bloke like you, I can lock in, and he can't get me off the list, so I can grab onto it in some scenarios, and they can't move. So that's where the weapons come into play. If I've locked into the list, that's where two-handed axe is going to come and start chopping my arm, and I'm, I'm going to want to let go of the list. Yep. So this is kind of like a... A lifeline. Okay. So I'm getting bashed by some massive bloke and I don't know where I am. I'm like, oh, sh I'll get onto the list and I'll wait until my friends come and help me. Okay. Or if I come in, I can grab all the big fella like you, I can rip him towards me like this and I'll be like, yep, Colin, Colin, hit him in the back, he's not looking. And then I'll freak him out and there might not be anyone there. Okay. So. so is there like a safe word? Uh, yeah, please don't stop. Please. No, <laughs> no, no. There's no safe word. You just put, take a knee or say, stop, 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 put your hand up. Okay. So. But yeah, if you ever feel unsafe at all today, just say, look, I gotta take the helmet off. I get sick. No one's got. There's no train shame here. Yeah. Like no matter all our sessions, if you want to step out of anything, that's great. You're, yeah. At least you're doing something. That's that's the main part. So. What about injuries? Like, is there a really bad injury you've suffered? Is it more ligament damage, those type of injuries, or is it blunt force? So the most common injury is ligament damage from falling over and trying to stop yourself. Sure. Because you're so, a lot heavier than you. Exactly. Are, like yeah, people yeah. think, oh, I can just roll up my arm out or do your shoulder. Um, that's the main injury. You do obviously get injuries from. So I've had two broken thumbs um, from blocking a, from just blocking. So I blocked a two-handed axe, came down to my axe, and boom, boom, both thumbs got broken. So what from your axe? From my axe, from the force of the axe going Fuck. into my axe, broke my thumbs. But um, what but then like those those are extreme cases, just like any other sport. Though, Who so. were you fighting then? Was that here? or Was that just in that, a tournament? That was in a tournament versus someone probably roughly yeah your height with that two-handed axe. Jesus. And I was quite new to the sport. Now I know not to block straight. I know. Let it deflect off the side. So Thank you... fuck that didn't hit you in the head. Oh, well, the head would have been better because there's more armoured there. The head, <laughs> you're the most heavily armoured in your face. You want to get hit in the face because it's you're very. You'll see it's very comforting getting okay, hit in the okay, face. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, Some okay. people will lean their head if they get a hit in the arm. They'll lean their head into it. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's that good. It's that good. Oh, yeah. You're safe in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's your safe zone. It was now time for me to be introduced to my suit of armour, my protection for the evening. This is your uh, your uh, suit for the day. This is your ten thousand dollars suit. Ten so grand, roughly. Okay, I take that back. Not that expensive, but usually my kit over there that's like sports optimized with titanium kit, it does get up to those higher ends. Shit. So this is still like a couple of thousand dollars worth of equipment here. Okay. So what we first need to do is get your legs on. So these are your legs here. Okay. Let's see if they fit. So literally, because these have got padding on the inside, you don't need bottom padding. So literally, okay. strap one here. Yep. The process of suiting up took much longer than I expected and you actually need a squire to help you put all of this armour on. Do I have a, I don't know the technical a word, box? but a cock pad? <laughs> yeah, I'll get you one of those. Thank you. <laughs> now the armour itself can weigh between 30 and 40 kilos. Now because I'm a big unit, this then takes me to about 140 kilos plus, but I can still do a chin up. Go me. <laughs> Chin to bar. There we go. That's a... <laughs> what's that? 135 kilos. <laughs> Oodles. Right. Can you see her up? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sweet. No. Feel all right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Feel all right? Feel good? Yeah, it surprisingly doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. Even with um, I'll show, I won't give you a proper whack, but even oh, great. Like even with one, of, even one of these bad boys. So if I'm some here, you can see, you can feel the difference of that. Uh, and people come in and start hitting you like that. <laughs> good, <laughs> great. <laughs> How hard were you hitting me then? Was that? I was like thirty percent. Oh fuck me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. So chuck it up, boom. Yeah, now throw, throw a shield punch in. Punch it. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, kick and punch, do whatever you want to do. Punch with your sword hand. Oh. That's it. Nice. If I get overwhelmed, yeah. I sort of duck my head and sort of give up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not, yeah. not give up, but just sort of you give yourself that type of stuff because you're trying to protect your face and all that. Well, that's the eyes. good thing about the armour is you can. You can put your shoe in front of your face and get in the corner and just breathe it out and be like, you know what, fuck, I'm just going to sit here for a bit. Yeah, okay. And that's what you can do today if you get overwhelmed. You can either say stop, stop, stop or just chuck your armour like this and just be like, no, I'm going to sit here until they fuck off. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then like if I'm on your team, I'll come help you. Because I imagine it, it is an overwhelming feeling to have just like two blokes wailing on 100%. you. 100%. Yeah. It, it gets to a point where 
you kind of snap out of it. And you're like, oh fuck, I'm actually versing someone with an axe. Yeah, like, yeah. You're like at the start, this is fine. I'm in a night armor, but then they give you a big solid hit, and it kind of rings your bell. You're like, oh fuck, this is actually a fight. Like, yep. I'm not like as I said, casting a spell. Like yep. I'm fighting another human being with steel weapons. If there was one piece of advice you'd give me, or maybe yeah. two pieces, yep. what would you tell me? What What is the best coach's advice you could give me going into the? Keep your head on a swivel. So don't get, don't focus on the one person. Look around. Okay. Because the worst feeling is if you think you're dominating someone, and then someone will fly in with a knee to your ribs, and you'll fall over. Yep. So just keep hit someone, look, hit someone, look, and just always look around. My fight was quickly approaching. My nerves at this point were very high. My adrenaline was starting to spike. Every man needs an army behind him. So I brought my tour manager, Kai, who's a really great guy, uh, for some backup. And he was given the crash course in fighting as well. Night soon fell upon us. And the knights had arrived. I had one last trick up my sleeve. I had a very special guest, an expert in violence. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't gonna turn up to an event where I was gonna get my head bashed in without a bit of a secret weapon, a bit of special sauce, if you will. So I have with me the best fighter I know. He's all right, I think, he's not bad. He's, he'd, he'd be all right. The 10 time world Muay Thai champion, John Wayne Parr, ladies and gentlemen, he's here to fuck some people up. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> That's what you said in the car, you said you were gonna <laughs> destroy. Run really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking? You've been here for a few minutes now. You see some people kitting up in some armour. How are you feeling? Uh, nervous. Uh, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. It's a whole uh, new experience, but at the same time, excited. Do, do you uh, have a bit of a, like a, any thoughts about what you're going to do when you get uh, in there? I've, I've found through boxing, Muay Thai and MMA that the more violent I can be, the more chances I'll have of winning. So <laughs> that, that, it's, a, it's, a, it's a successful uh, uh, theory so far. So hopefully they can work with um, it's heavy stuff. Okay, have you done, done any slashing work, like practice at home in the kitchen just with a couple Ooh. of knives or anything like that? So my son likes spooning. I prefer forking. Oh. I, I, <laughs> I'm a bit of a forker myself. <laughs> John Wayne Parlow is John <laughs> What are you guys thinking? Like, is this, I'm thinking is this... hit them more than they hit you. Okay. Create space and stay long. So if you've got a, a longer weapon, try and keep them and straight. Everything, be, everything straight. Everything straight will be faster than something around. You can't stab. You can't stab. You no, stab. no. What? I'm glad we told you that. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't just walk <laughs> in and just go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my go-to. Just to spear. Yeah. Just to spear. Yeah. I guess that plane was out of the window. Jeez. I noticed there's a lot of weight in the sword, yeah. and so every movement, like it has to be pretty critical. Otherwise, you get exhausted yeah. really. Don't, every don't, don't, don't over swing. Don't yeah. go too so, far. So only going just, just enough, just enough. So if you go too far, then they might counter. Exactly. So just every, touch. Everything seems like, feels like a haymaker. Yes. Because you end up over it. Yeah. And then old mate's just whomp. I think I'm going to sit and I'm going to try and absorb and then try and pop <laughs> a couple of sneaks. Yeah, the Homer Simpson. <laughs> exactly. Just cop punishment yeah. for 90 seconds yeah. and then just whomp. And then come through. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. shots to the groin, back of the leg, side of the neck, and obviously no stabbing. And with the new, newer fighters, obviously you go at their pace. If they're going slow, you go slow. Never increase that uh, tolerance because violence is obviously like sex. If it's not consensual, it's not cool. So let's keep it dirty, let's keep it clean. Great work, guys. Nobody raped me. <laughs> As the fights got underway, my time soon come. Four hours ago, I'd never really held a sword in my entire life. And now I was going to go head to head with a champion? <laughs> I was shitting myself.
Oh my god. 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 Oh my Next up into the ring was 10-time World Muay Thai champion John Wayne Park. Next up, it was time for me to fight Kai. Two friends become foes. from the footage here, but I'll just let you all in on a little secret. It is impossible to move in these suits, okay? They're so heavy. The sword is heavy. Everything is impossible. When you swing it, you can't control it as it falls down and it leaves you open from shots from your opposition straight into your noggin. itself is impossible to see out of. You can't see a thing, you can't move your neck, you can't breathe in there, you can't hear because of all the padding. It is absolutely awful. <laughs> And it is all that combined that leaves you exhausted after 15 seconds of fighting. Yeah, good. How you doing? Oh. Woo! At the end, we just dropped the gloves. Uh, Turn into a full hockey fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You never feel unsafe at any time. Just say stop, 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 or just go to the ground. Because okay. as soon as someone does this in the group fight, no one should touch you. And no one should come and be like, no, I can't hit you, can't touch you. Um, so if you get knocked to the ground, you're out. You're out. That's like you're dead. Before we could bring the battle to a close, there was one final hurdle. Kai and myself, my fine night self, would attempt a group fight. An orgy of nights, if you will.
Okay. I think how quickly you lose any energy. Yeah, Fuck. Nothing? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Three seconds in. Hey. <laughs> I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that is a tough sport. Even though we were covered head to toe in armor, we still had sores and bruises the next day. And John Wayne Parr added more stitches to his enormous tally of stitches from fighting. Sorry about that, John. My apologies. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, that was fucking horrible. It was good fun, but Paul Butterfield is an atrociously unfit mess. Look at me. I'm sweating like Epstein and any part of his island. Now, I'll tell you this much, ladies and gentlemen. I had a lovely time with young Sam here. He's an absolute beast. If you're in Brisbane, come and see these dudes at this piece. These dudes and ladies. There's people everywhere having a great time. Young and old, there's a 60-year-old man, an 80-year-old man getting in the ring. They love it. Um, and uh, thank you, Kai. And, of course... JWP, this man, ha. this legend. Now, I brought him out here with no training, nothing, yeah. and thrown him straight in there. He's got an axe to the face yeah. as the first thing. So I'm sorry, brother, but thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. If you enjoyed this, uh, stick around. There's other shit that we're doing. Will violence be involved? Maybe. Yeah. If you don't subscribe, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, my dick stinks. Toodle-lob-wah. Bye-bye.